everyone. It's Louise with Louise McCare, and welcome to the collaboration that we have going on today, hosted by Aishu, my sweet niece Aishu from Aishu's Crafty Kids Club. And I thank her for inviting me to this collaboration and am really enjoying this. And I also want to give a shout out to Donna by It's Art by Donna for preceding me and introducing me for this collaboration. So I'm going to throw in here that we were given only eight minutes for our creation, and uh, I decided on doing coasters because it's about the only thing I could do in under eight minutes. And I've been fighting a couple factors here. Air bubbles are one, thickness of paint two, and color, which was number three. These paints are, are way, uh, way too thick. I'm using a different pouring medium this time and I will be probably going back to my usual stuff or doctoring this concoction so that it works for me. It's a combination of Verithane semi-gloss varnish with my Valspar that I've been using recently. And it's Valspar 833124. So what I had been doing is using the Valspar with the Minwax varnish, gloss, and it's been working fine. Uh, and at the suggestion of somebody, I decided to try the Verithane since they gave it to me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not, not working out for me. I need to have enough of this to get through another pour. I got one more to go. I will be scraping the barrel on this. This is a color I had to play with a lot to get it to the right tone. It was much lighter to start with. I used a color palette off of Pinterest because it, 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 it ooh, I didn't mean to do that because it really caught my eye for a holiday Thanksgiving type of pour. And uh, when, I, when I made the first couple coasters, I just didn't like the way they turned out. I mean, they, the match to the color was great. For what I was trying to accomplish, it didn't work out. So all these are fabricated colors. I will list them in the description to the best of my knowledge. As you know, when you make colors up, sometimes you forget what you're putting in as you're in the middle of making. My American Floatrol Cell Activator, which has not been activating very well because these paints are so thick, it's um, hard for the cell activator to work. When the, cell, when the paint is so thick, the, the paint can't come through the cells. It can't pop through. Here we go. So my usual way, I like to talk through the blowout, which I do pretty much the same way every time, although this time I had a little more struggle because the paints were thicker. So I like to blow straight down into the cell activator to start to get it spread as much in a circle as possible, getting that ridge to form and then blowing my air at the ridge to start to spread the cell activator out over the top of the paint and the paint having it skim over the top of the pillow. So that's what I do here, and I've slowed my blow down a lot and made it much more deliberate, and it works out really well for me. The most important thing is finding out what works for you. See, the paint is not wanting to move either. I'm pushing it like I'm, I'm having to go into third gear to get it to move. On my initial blow, it's not really going anywhere, and it's only after that secondary push that it's finally moving. Yeah, these paints are way too thick. I think these have been, these are as thick as they've ever been. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous right there. So because of the time constraint, I am going to skip ahead some, but you won't miss much. All right, come on. Come on, metal. This is a brand new batch of cell activator. So the problem is not the cell activator. The, the problem is the paints are too thick. 
At least that's my assessment at this point. So right here, I'm gonna push the paint to the edges and clean up a little bit and I'm gonna move on. Give it some more spinning. Oh, this one's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's kill some white spots. Yeah, I'm just going to end up with a little more, uh, a little more of the cell activator in the middle, just because I, my paints are not going to cooperate. But that's a lesson learned here. I've learned a lot trying this other pouring medium. Now, for some people, it works. And that's the most important thing: is that you find what works for you, because what works for me may not work for you, because it also depends on. You know where you live, where you live, what your climate's like. All right, let's give it one. Let's give it blow one more time in the middle. See if I can help it along. No, we'll just we'll just accept accept it. So that is about done. Look, I'm already at nine minutes. Already got to cut this video down. There she is. Beautiful, really pretty. So what I do before I put it to bed, I just bang it. And anywhere where they, any of the white spots pop up, like right here, then I get them. And then I'm not surprised in the morning. And I put it to bed. All right, thanks everybody. So everyone, that's a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, leave your comments, a thumbs up would be nice. It's free and it helps me grow and I'd really appreciate it. So here are the four coasters that I created that I'm considering part of a set. At the very end, I'm gonna have the video of all the six I've made. But first, I just wanted to interject a couple things here. Some basic things I'm thankful for. Number one, it's where I live. I have the most beautiful, serene setting. I get nature every day. Squirrels and bears and deer. And this is what I woke up to about a week ago in the morning dusk. Absolutely gorgeous. I just absolutely love it here. And I'm gonna share another little snippet of mother nature right here in my immediate area. And these are one of our little bears that are up a tree probably as high as I've ever seen. And he is foraging for walnuts and hickory nuts and dropping them down on his mom and his other brothers and sisters below. Just so cute. Stop it. So here's the final flyover of these coasters fully resined and ready to go for Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you all are enjoying the collaboration and I will have a playlist linked in the description. So please go refer back to everybody else. And right now we're gonna go over to Acrylic Art by Mary Kirk and we'll see what she has cooked up for us today. And at the very end of this video, I will have a Bloom Coaster playlist so you can refer to other color palettes and other color combinations. Thanks a lot everybody. Take care and happy Thanksgiving.